Hi, this is Prakash from 60 seconds. So today we look at a question from geometry which occurred in CAT 2004. So the question goes like this. A circle with radius 2 is placed against a right angle. Another smaller circle is also placed as shown in the adjoining figure. So this is the circle of 2 cm or 2 units and then there is a smaller circle which is placed adjacent to it in this way. What is the radius of the smaller circle? So we have to find the radius of this smaller circle. So before we proceed with the solution, I would request you to pause the video and try to solve it on your own. And once you are done, please look at it for the solution. Okay. Assuming that you have tried the question, let's see how we can solve this. Again, we are going to solve this using two ways. One standard approach and another is using options. So let's see how we can solve it using the standard approach first. So just to make it clearer, I would like to draw the same figure in an enlarged view so that things are clear. So this is the same figure in an enlarged view or magnified view. Now one thing that I want to bring to your notice is that if you look, look here closely there is a gap here if you see so the smaller circle will not touch this vertex or this point of intersection of the horizontal and the vertical this is one critical point to note that the smaller circle will not touch this point of intersection there will be a gap between the smaller circles circumference and this point of intersection now this is not very visible in the smaller diagram so a lot of people don't realize this and that is when they don't end up getting their answer okay i will show you how just to make it clear there is a gap here now say the center of this bigger circle is this so this radius is 2 given to be 2 same way this is another radius which is also 2 so, if this point of intersection is say A and the center of the circle is say O, so the line OA will act as a hypotenuse for triangle ABO or ACO, whatever you may want to call it. So, line AO will act like a hypotenuse for triangle ABO. So OB is 2 same way BA which is equal to OC will also be 2. So using Pythagoras theorem I can find out that the length of OA length of OA will be nothing but 2 root 2 using Pythagoras theorem. Now the mistake that students generally do is that if the radius of the smaller circle is say small r, say radius of smaller circle is say small r, say this is the center, say this part is r. Now the mistake that generally students do is from this point, from the center till here, this length will also be 2, this length will also be 2 because this is also radius, so it will become 2 plus and this length from this point, say this point is B on the circumference, so from point D to A, generally the students make a mistake that this is 2r, they assume it to be the diameter. So it becomes 2 plus 2r equals the length that we found out which is 2 root 2. Now this is a mistake because we know that there is some space here because of which da cannot be the diameter. The diameter will be smaller than the length da. So if you write an equation like this you don't get any of the options and that is where you get a 
wrong answer you get puzzled that why are you not getting the answer so what would be the correct equation so if the radius of the smaller circle is r from the center of the smaller circle if i join with point a i know that it will be r root 2 because just like the bigger circle this length this length is r and this length is also r the radius so this will be the hypotenuse of the smaller circle so if the center of the smaller circle is say p then my line oa is nothing but sum of od bp and pa so my line oa will be od this length plus bp this length plus pa this length now i have already found oa oa is nothing but 2 root 2 which is equal to od od is the radius of the bigger circle which is 2 dp is the radius of the smaller circle which is nothing but r and pa is the hypotenuse for the right angle triangle formed in the smaller circle so that will be nothing but r root 2 as we found out so if we solve this we get r into 1 plus root 2 equals 2 times of root 2 minus 1 just solving this so if i take r common here i get 1 plus root 2 which is here that is equal to this 2 goes on the other side so it becomes 2 root 2 minus 2 and you take 2 common so you get root 2 minus 1 so the radius of the smaller circle comes out to be now if you multiply the numerator and the denominator with root 2 minus 1 you will get 2 times of root 2 minus 1 whole square divided by root 2 Plus one when multiplied with root two minus one will give you root two square minus one, so it will give you one, which gives me two times of this root two minus one whole square expanded will give me two plus one minus two root two, which is nothing but six minus four root two. Two plus one is three. Three into two is six. Minus two into two is four. Root two. This is nothing but my fourth option. So I can solve this question in this way. Another way to solve this question would be to use options. So again, this is the figure I have. Now it is given to me that the radius of the bigger circle is two. So I can say. this length is 2 so very clearly from the figure itself i can say the diameter of the smaller circle diameter of smaller circle has to be less than 2 now let us look at the options if i look at the second option 4 minus 2 root 2 so root 2 is what 1.4 so 2 into 1.4 so it gives me 2.8 4 minus 2.8 is 1.2 so if the radius of the smaller circle is 1.2 diameter will become 2.4 but very clearly i know that the diameter of the smaller circle cannot be more than 2 so this cannot be my answer because here i am getting a diameter which is greater than 2 let us look at the third option 7 minus 4 root 2, so it becomes 7 minus 4 into root 2 is what? 1.4. So 4 into 1.4 will give me 5.6. So 7 minus 5.6 gives me 1.4. So the radius becomes 1.4. So diameter will become 2.8. Again, cannot be my answer. Let us look at the first option. First option tells me 3 minus 2 root 2. So three minus two into root two, 
root 2 is 1.4 so 2 into 1.4 will give me 2.8 so 3 minus 2.8 which gives me 0 0.2 approximately this can be my answer let me look at the fourth option 6 minus 4 root 2 6 minus 4 into 1.4 that gives me 4 into 1.4 is 5.6 6 minus 5.6 is 0 0.4 so here the diameter becomes 0 0.8 here the diameter becomes 0 0.4 both can be my answer now to choose one if I look at the diagram the diagram doesn't look out of symmetry in the sense it looks like it is drawn to scale this is definitely a circle this is more or less like a circle now I'm going to do a little visual inspection and see if my diagram is drawn correctly if my diagram is drawn more or less to scale then by visual inspection I should be able to reach an answer so I'm stuck with whether is this 0.4 I am looking for this distance is this 0.4 or is this 0.8 now I know till here it is 2 this whole distance is 2 now if this is 0.4 then this distance should become 5 times of this distance this distance if this is point A and this is point say B and say this point is say C so AB should be 5 times of CA which looks pretty unlikely because if you see CA looks to be slightly less than half so I cannot have CA to be one fifth of AB so it looks very unlikely that 3 minus 2 root 2 where it gives me the diameter 0 0.4 can be my answer so I know there is a little approximation here but I am saying by visual inspection here because your diagram if this was not given like a circle if it was given like oval shape or if the diagram did not look proper then there would have been a problem in approximating and using visual inspection but here if you see the diagram looks pretty neat drawn to the scale so then my visual inspection should give me a fair idea and if the options are far apart 0.4 and 0.8 is quite distant from each other if it was like 0.7 and 0.8 then I may not be able to distinguish but 0.4 and 0.8 gives me good enough a distance or difference to make a call so since AC doesn't look to be one fifth of AB I will reject this AC looks like slightly less than half so I can go for my fourth option so this is how you can solve this question using options I can tell you another simple way by which you can solve this question I told you that most of the students make a, make a mistake that they assume OA to be 2 plus 2 times of small r and they equate it to 2 root 2 which we found to be the length of OA now even if I write this wrong equation let me see what is the value of small r that I get so I will get r as so r as 2 into root 2 minus 1 by 2 this 2 goes this side so it becomes minus 2 and when I take 2 common I get root 2 minus 1 and this 2 comes in the denominator so I get 2 into root 2 minus 1 by 2 this 2 2 gets cancelled I get root 2 minus 1 root 2 is 1.4 minus 1 is 0 0.4 I get r approximately 0 0.4 which option is giving me r as because if I see if I look at the diagram this gap is going to be really small this gap is going to be really small it's going to be kind of insignificant 
so the value of r that i am getting is kind of approximate even in my ignorance the value of r that i am going to get is going to be pretty close to my actual answer and if i try to derive the option i will not get an answer but if i look at the value of the options here i am getting 1.2 which cannot be my answer way more than 0.4 here i am getting 0.2 pretty less than 0.4 here i am getting around 0.4 again so this is the closest to my answer so again even in my ignorance if i write this equation and if i evaluate each option and try to match it with one of, one of the options i will get option number 4 as the indisputable option because all the rest of the options are quite far so i can still mark option number 4 so this is how you can solve this question multiple ways by either using the standard approach or by using options and always keep an eye on the options options tell you a lot of things options come very handy so i hope the approaches are clear if you have any questions please post them below and i'll try to answer them as soon as possible thank you